Hello, I am Dr. Virendra Sutar. I am the lead consultant in internal medicine, Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. Of late, there has been a surge of a lot of infectious diseases, especially dengue, in and around Bangalore. A lot of uh, myths and uh, fear exist about this illness amongst people. So I would like to address a few of them. Dengue is a mosquito-borne illness and usually these bites happen during the daytime. So the best mode of prevention for dengue would be to move around with wearing full clothes, especially during the daytime. Dengue mosquitoes also breed in open tanks and water collections. So make sure that your surroundings are clean. There is no stagnation of water in pots, gutters and on the roadside. This is where the mosquitoes breed. Because in dengue, prevention is always better than cure. In spite of all this, even if you happen to get dengue, uh, there is nothing to worry. Most infections of dengue are self-limited, provided you take care and take rest during this period of illness. The illness usually lasts about seven to eight days in the usual course, and in the unfortunate few, it may get into complications. The initial period consists of very high fever for about three, four days, and then this is followed by a period where there is intense fatigue, there is bloating feeling in the abdomen, and there is a drop in platelets. Now, there is a lot of uh, fear regarding the platelet fall in dengue. Usually, all patients get platelet fall uh, to some extent or the other. There is no need of platelet transfusions unless there is uh, documented bleeding or unless the platelet counts goes to very low levels. There is also this myth that eating certain fruits uh, vegetables can increase platelets. There is no proven evidence as of now that if you take certain fruit juices or eat fruits or vegetables that the platelets will increase. In the natural course of the illness, the platelets will start increasing after about 7-8 days and that is when the recovery of the patient also starts. It's very important to stay hydrated, stay indoors and take rest during dengue. Or follow all the instructions given by the doctor. In the worst case, in a minor few where the bleeding and complications can happen, it may require uh, intensive care and supportive care in a hospital. If you feel tired, if you feel dizzy, or if there is bleeding from an unexpected source, then it is better to approach the hospital. A dengue is a easily manageable illness if all uh, precautions are taken in time. Most of the complications that can be easily managed at home and many times after admission. So taking appropriate precautions prevent most of these uh, complications of dengue.